Hey everyone, this is Josh Madsen, and I'm from Free Hill Life, where we preserve, protect, and promote telemark skiing. Today's video, I'm going to be going over a great 75 millimeter boot from Scarpa called the T2 Eco. Now, 75 millimeter, there's not as many options within the 75 millimeter platform any longer, so I wanted to be sure to cover this boot both in the men and the women's boots so that you know what's going on with it. So right here we have the men's T2 Eco boot. Basically this boot is made for somebody who still wants to have that 75 millimeter boot, okay? It's p construction. We've got a three buckle boot. It's got a nice instep strap. It weighs about three pounds, 11 ounces in one boot in a size 27, okay? So it's got an intuition liner here as well. You can heat mold it. It's super great. It's got 30 degrees range of motion for when you're walking up and downhill. And it's got a nice Vibram sole. So the sizing comes from 24.5 Mondo all the way up to 32 Mondo. 102 last in the foot. So it's nice for a wider foot. But honestly, this boot fits most people. The Flex is rated at a 95. If you watch some videos about the TX Pro and the NTM platform, that's probably about a 110 flex. TX Comp's about a 120 flex. So flex ratings are a little tricky in Telemark boots because there's so much flex going on in the ankle and the bellow and the overall boot that that can be uh, difficult to kind of nail down. But it does give you an idea that it is a softer boot and is going to feel that way when you ski it. Overall, this boot is great for somebody who's going to be uh, skiing on a, a 75 millimeter binding. Maybe you've been on a two buckle T2 in the past or some sort of a three buckle boot. This is a great boot to move into if you do not need to change your bindings. Okay. Uh, it's, it's going to be a softer boot, somebody that likes to have that feel of a boot that moves with your foot more than a stiff style race boot or something that's going to be taller uh, on your calf. So the other thing is, is if you are trying to telemark ski and you need the Scarpa boot in terms of fit, this goes into 31 and 32 Mondo, which unfortunately in the NTN boots does not exist at this point in time. Okay. So that's very, very important to keep in mind that people with a size 32, they may need uh, to go into the T2 Eco. The difficulty with that is somebody who weighs more, uh, that may not actually be the best fit uh, because you're able to flex the boot more and there's some discrepancies there. So just keep that in mind. Here's, here's where the application I think is for this boot. Uh, I think if you're someone who doesn't need a stiff boot, you like maybe rolling hill terrain, but you want a little bit taller boot instead of like a T4, which we can cover in a different video. Inbound skiing, where maybe you're coming, you want to upgrade your boot, but you're coming from something like an old T2 that was two buckle boot or something similar. Uh, I think that's a great option as well. You're going to pair this with a 75 millimeter bindings. Uh, in, in my opinion right now, the best 75 millimeter binding to probably pair this with if your inbounds only is a 22 designs vice, if you need the backcountry ability is go with the axle, which has the free pivot tour mode. The reason I like those bindings is you have adjustable pivot point and you can actually, because of the soft nature of the boot is you compare it well with a good neutral pivot point on the binding and you can actually adjust that as well as some different spring options. So I think this is a great boot. For those that want to stay on the 75 millimeter platform, but you don't need crazy stiffness, you don't need uh, race style performance. And I also think it pairs well for people that like more of the rugged touring backcountry style, rolling hills, uh, long days in the backcountry, even in the West where you maybe want to uh, do long uh, tours, but maybe not such aggressive downhill skiing. Uh, also, it might pair well with somebody who likes uh, more of a, of a traditional feel in terms of a Telemark boot. It's not leather, but it definitely is more supportive than that. But you could put it with a three pin system or a, a light three pin cable binding. So I hope this helps. 
understand the T2 Eco better. Before I go, I did want to show the women's T2 Eco, which is exactly the same boot, just in a women's uh, colorway. Also, it's got a little bit, uh, the liner is a little bit shorter for women's calves. But other than that, it's the exact same construction specs and all of that. And also a great option for women that are looking for a boot that's not overly aggressive, allows you to get up on th onto the hill and pair it with a nice 75 millimeter binding. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful and hopefully we'll see you on the slopes this season. Until then, spread telemark always, my friends. See you later.